3D printed guns, body parts, and food are already here, so some are asking, why not 3D printed drugs? A chemistry professor named Lee Cronin has been working on just that, a system of downloadable chemistry allowing individuals to bring life to complex compounds on their own. In a TED talk, he asked the following. Could we app chemistry? What he means is the creation of software that contains blueprints for chemical compounds. So along with the 3D printer and chemical inks, you could 3D print your own drugs to treat whatever might ail you. Beyond that, Cronin imagines a future where, starting at the molecular level, you can generate your own custom drugs based on what's contained in your stem cells. But perhaps for me, the cool bit going into the future is this idea of taking your own stem cells with your genes and your environment, and you print your own personal medicine. And if that doesn't seem fanciful enough, where do you think we're going to go? Well, you're going to have your own personal matter fabricator. Beam me up, Scotty. OK, a matter fabricator in every home might be a ways off, but the cheap printing of synthetic drugs seems well within reach from a technological standpoint. After all, if the show Breaking Bad has taught us anything, it's that any old teacher can whip up some drugs in their camper, right? Honestly, though, this year has already seen significant advances in bioprinting, another medical application of the 3D printing revolution. Scientists have used bioprinting to develop sheets of skin made with stem cells, a portion of a skull, an outer ear, and a replacement bladder, among other things. Compared to printing human skin, printing drugs should be a snap, right? Still, some are wary about the possibility of printing drugs in the home, bringing the inevitable comparisons to the 3D printed gun phenomenon that's generated so much controversy this year. And though home printed drugs are still in the hypothetical phase, Professor Cronin says in an interview with Vice that he could see it happening in perhaps five to 10 years. So what do you think? Should 3D printing of drugs in the home be permitted or is it too problematic? Why or why not? Let me know what you think in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie.